how to split test your Klaviyo campaigns in 2024. Today, I'll be going over my exact A-B testing process. We'll be diving into the Klaviyo account and I'll be showing you step-by-step -step on how to set up split testing Klaviyo as well as specific test ideas. We generate about $300,000 per month in email revenue for our clients. And I'll be showing you exactly how we do that. Let's dive in. So when it comes to the basics of split testing, we wanna test out one variable at a time. That is a requirement. Sticking to this helps us understand what actually drove results. It'll help us determine whether the subject line performed better or was it the same time. Statistical significance is the second most important part. If you're just starting off and you have a contact list of under a thousand people, it may not be the best idea to start A-B testing, mainly because you don't have enough data there. Once you get above that hump of a thousand people, you can start to see enough engagement and enough contacts to know whether something has worked with enough data or whether it was a fluke because of other conditions. Now let's jump into Klaviyo and go over exactly how to set up a split test. Create a campaign. We'll just name this whatever. Let's just send out to our newsletter subscribers. This is only one because it's our test account. Continue to content. Then we'll go to subject line. We'll just do whatever. Same thing with preview test. Select an email template. And now this is where we have that option to create an A-B test after we've set up our template. We'll go ahead and do that. And here we'll have different variations. So variation A, let's just do subject line A. You can name it whatever you want. This is just purely for organizational sakes. Uh, and here, what we can do is also adjust the content that we wanna send out. So we can change up the template and edit the email to be different. Uh, we can change up the pretext, the subject line, uh, even sometimes the center name. Now, these are the most important parts. We want to optimize for either click open rate, click rate, or revenue rate. There is another selection if you have your Shopify, your WooCommerce, or your Magento hooked up. I don't have it here because I don't have it connected, but there will be another option. So a basic rubric that we use for testing, we, when we wanna test out our subject lines, our timing, et cetera, we optimize for the open rate. If we wanna test out the content, the button placements, button styles, or any other things that have to do with content that affect click-through rate, we then optimize for click-through rate. And lastly, for placed order and revenue, this is mainly done for offers, content and anything that might drive revenue further. And one thing that I'll recommend doing is before you start testing out for revenue is you need to have a bigger list. And the bigger the list, the more data you'll be able to have and make better decision based off of statistical significance on which test won and which test lost. Now, the cool thing here at the bottom is you can have this drag scale here. And what this will help us do, Klaviyo will send out 25% to test A, 25% to test B, and determining based off of what data brought in the most results, whether you're optimizing for open rate, click-through rate, or revenue rate, it will then send out to the winner off of best response. So here we can send out 25% to A, 25% to B, and the rest to the winner. So that way we have a better performing campaign down the road. I personally only use this for open rates or click-through rates. Revenue rate, there's a delayed attribution in there, and sometimes it's hard and a little wishy-washy to go off of revenue rate. So I would recommend only doing open and click-through rate here. You can also set a test duration so you can see it within the first six hours, the first four, three, two, one, etc. Depending on the send time, if it's in the middle of the night, then maybe a little bit hard, but if it's in the middle of the day, I'd say within the first four hours is the best way to test it out. Now let's get into some of our go-to email tests that we perform for our clients. The subject line is the first and most important one. This one helps out with open rates. If no one opens up your email, then no one is going to be clicking on it. No one's going to be buying from it. You want to optimize for your open rate and the subject line is the best way to do that. The second best way to do that is through your send time. You want to send out your emails at an optimal send time because if you hit the customer at the right time in the right place, they're going to buy and you can easily set this up through through a smart send time test. So once we've set everything up, what we do is go to review, schedule or send, and here we can do a smart send time test. And this purely depends on how you wanna set up your smart send time. You can either do focused, which is between the best performing time for our clients or an optimal time. This takes multiple sends to set up and it takes two weeks to get this going. But once you've done that, then you can have an ideal send time that will reach your customers where they're more likely to buy something from the brand. The third best thing that we test for is call to action. So this helps with click-through rate and revenue because the higher the click-through rate, the more likely a person is going to buy. And this will help us determine what kind of call-outs in the email we need to do, any specific button colors or any specific button placements that will help drive more clicks and more revenue. Offers is another good one. Different discount types, whether it's free shipping, percent off, dollars off, cash back, whatever it is, testing out different offers between different A-B tests can help you determine which offer is the best performing. And lastly, text versus email design. I showed you that you can set up 
up different templates within your AB test. So you can have a design template versus a text only template and see which one generates the most click through, the most revenue, testing through those different templates. And it helps us see which types of emails converted better when the offer was shown at the exact same time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want your split test done for you, let us know. We have a link below to book in a call. And if you like the video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.